Hi, I'm Ariel Grace, and today we're going to be talking about ascension and ETs, extraterrestrials. Okay, so there are some people that feel like the ETs are going to come and save us, and um, they're already here. <laughs> They've been here for a while, like eons, you know. Um, they came when Earth was created. Like if you think of Earth as the melting pot of the cosmic universe, that's us, right? Just like the United States. The United States is like the melting pot of the world because we have so many different types of people that live in the United States, okay? So, you know, and why not come and settle here? Right? It's a beautiful place. And there are incredible places here on Earth to, to see, to live, to be in. Um, so uh, I do feel like they've been here for a long while. I don't feel like they're here to save us. I do feel like they encourage us to do, to do good for ourselves and the planet. Okay, so, um, and that's, that's what I think. I feel like they're already here. So, and I've met some different people <laughs> that, I don't know, weren't entirely human or maybe not even human at all in my travels. And um, you can kind of tell the difference in them. Uh, one, most of them are really high resonance and they're really happy. They're always happy, like there's nothing wrong, right? They're always there to give advice or to help with technical issues because a lot of them are really good with technology. Um, so some people think that like the, the ETs helped build the pyramids. I'm sure they did help engineer it, you know. Um, from what I understand, it was mostly, you know, people, people work. <laughs> but I'm sure that, um, you know, the Egyptians were like, uh, what do, what do they call lion people? That's what they're called. Um, and so, and the lion people are the Syrians. Um, they're the dark Syrians and they are the ones that are, are like that. They're great with technology. They're great with figuring out things, right? So, um, but they helped us humans in our evolution. Some of them did. Now some ETs, you know, maybe, they are just here to raise the resonance, right? They're not here for strategic things or they're not here for technology. They're just here because they like it. Okay, so and a lot of people are like, oh, you know, what are you talking about, Ariel? You know, there's no such thing. There is. Um, I had the great pleasure um, to um, meet the Ute Indians. The Utes live in Colorado. And um, the Utes used to have a sweat lodge once a month. Now, I am not a Native American Indian. I am Asian American. And so um, I went to sweat. I represented the yellow race, the Asians. Yay, us. And um, when I was, one time when we were there, there were some people that came down from Alaska and uh, we briefly met after sweat because after sweat we eat and you know we get grounded and everything before we go home because you really need to eat something or drink something before you start driving home. So I saw these people again and I believe I saw them at Chimney Rock it was about 15 or 16 years ago. So I'm not really, I can't remember exactly where I saw them, but I had a really good talk with the matron. And um, she was very beautiful. They had come down from Alaska and they were traveling. They were traveling, they were trading, uh, they were doing a lot of things and they were just gonna, they were gonna go up back to Alaska uh, in the springtime and then get, grab some more stuff and then go and take a route and trade again. So 
this woman, when she started talking to me, you know, she's talking to me about evolution. She's talking to me about raising consciousness and everything that she said was just, you know, was beautiful. And her voice, her voice was like music. I mean, I could sit and listen to it all day long. It just was so resonant and lovely. And uh, she started talking to me about the cat people, the lion people, the Syrians. And I was like, yeah, I've heard about the Syrians. And she's like, well, okay. So she's talking about like staying centered and being at peace, um, loving self, raising resonance, making sure that we love the earth, you know, being grounded. And um, she said, if you look at my whole family, my son's over there, my husband. We all look like cats. We look like lions. And I had been watching her and she did have a mane of like gray hair and that it was just beautiful, you know? And her face was, um, it was shaped the way, the shape of it. You know, she did look like a lioness. And her, her family, they did, and I was like considering it because at the time I was still kind of looking at it and thinking about it. And so um, her thing was, the reason why she traveled was to assist people with um, learning their roots, learning where they come from, you know, finding those people that, um, that don't feel as though they're from earth or they don't feel good about being here and assisting them with, with liking where they're at, with being able to see the beauty in all things. And I thought that was really, really cool. So most, so her thing was she had to make up a reason <laughs> to, to travel legitimately and she had to you know of course have money to travel so that she could teach people and she could help people and i thought that was a really awesome thing for her to do and i felt the vibe of her truly believing what she was saying and believing who she was right so um that was my probably the third time speaking to somebody who uh, who said that they were from, you know, their lineage came from somewhere else, not Earth. And uh, of all the people that I've spoke to that have talked about lineage, she's the one that I believed, actually believed the most. She was very believable. Okay, so where do Syrians come from? Syrians are the dog star um, constellation. It's Cirrus A and Cirrus B in Canis Major. All right, so if you look up, you'll see them. It's like all in the Milky Way. Um, and uh, there are a lot of people that claim Syrian heritage. Okay, so um, now we can believe them or not. I believe that there are other people that come from different places. They're, they came here maybe in the beginning, middle, close to now, and um, they're human, uh, humanoid in shape or close enough looking to humans that they can come down here and um, be, people will think that they're humans. Maybe they're extra tall humans, or maybe they, they look very similar to cat humans, or, you know, because people will only see what they want to see, right? It's like what they say about magic. People can do magic in front of humans and if, human, if a human doesn't believe in magic, they're not gonna see it. So, yeah. So if you're not willing or ready, you may not, you know, may not recognize a person that is from, like their roots are from somewhere else. They came here and they're here to assist. So that's what I know about ETs. I've met other ETs. If you go to Las Vegas, and I know this sounds crazy, but if you go to Las Vegas, right, walk down the strip, you're going to see all kinds. 
you will see all kinds of people you will see shapes and forms and you will see people coming from like all over the place so the best thing for you to do i think is to really just open your heart and your mind to there being more to our planet i'm always saying that there's more to this place than what we perceive our perception a lot of times is like this but if we open up that perception we'll see that there are <laughs> many types of humans and many types of humanoids okay um whether they're coming to save us i i don't know because i don't believe that i don't believe in any of that i believe that they're here because they like being here i believe that they're here to assist in some way shape or form and um so they are here to inspire us and to help us raise up not necessarily to save us maybe they're here to help us save ourselves <laughs> so think about that and really look at some of the mythology that is here on this planet too because if you look at the mythology of indigenous Indian people you will see that most of their legends their people came from the stars right literally came from the stars and if you look around to um, and look at their mythology, usually their gods came from the stars. And if you look in different areas of the world on the hieroglyphs, pictures on mountains, um, you'll see like pictures of different beings. You'll see their spaceships you'll see all kinds of really cool stuff. So if you're really interested in this, look deeper in. Just Google Palladian, Google Syrians, Google lion people, you know, start Googling things because there's so much information out there and I encourage you to do it, right? So when you do meet a Palladian on the Las Vegas Strip <laughs> and that Palladian is letting you know that, oh, hey, you know what? If you move out east, your life will be easier and better and you'll resonate higher and your heart will open bigger. Just an example, by the way. Um, maybe you might want to follow that advice because it just feels really good for you, or at least look into it, right? Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna expand more on the different races as we go through this ascension thing, because there needs to be more talk on it, there needs to be more understanding about it, and maybe recognition of it. Um, I do feel like if you look into ancient history, you're going to find where there were like turns or upgrades <laughs> in history and as we got to a place that is now and will our civilization civilization collapse who knows will it get better i hope so because i would really love for it to get better yeah so Think about these things. If you have questions for me, please leave them in the comments. I love to answer questions. And, um, you know, next week we'll really start with the Syrians. And I'll talk to you more about them, give you some more ideas and that. Now, for those of you who want to connect to your spirit guides and angels, and those of you who feel the ET energy, because ET energy is different, than angelic or spirit guides, okay? Um, I have an automatic writing meditation here on YouTube and you can check that out. Um, it will help you with connecting to your spirit guides and angels and it's a great way for you to be able to write down messages from them, okay? All right, so have a wonderful week and I'll see you next week. Keep your hearts open.
and align with the energy of love. Bye.